Hey everyone, in this video we'll be looking at linear equation word problems that involve age. So jumping into our first example, Caitlin is 3 years older than twice Tracy's age. If the sum of their ages is 21, how old is Caitlin? So we'll start with our let statement. So we'll let x be equal to... So Caitlin is 3 years older than twice Tracy's age. So Caitlin is defined in terms of Tracy. So that means x is going to be Tracy's age. And then 3 years older than twice Tracy's age. So 2x plus 3 represents Caitlin's age. Okay, the sum of their ages is 21. So Tracy plus Caitlin, their ages is equal to 21. So putting our expressions in terms of x in, Tracy is x, Caitlin is 2x plus 3, and that equals 21. Combining the like terms on the left-hand side, 3x plus 3 equals 21. We can subtract 3 from both sides. That gives us 3x equals 18. Multiply both sides by 1 third, or divide by 3, and we have x equals 6. Now, rereading the problem, they ask how old is Caitlin? So they don't want both ages, they only want Caitlin's age. So substituting 6 into x, so we have 2 times 6 plus 3, 12 plus 3, so that means Caitlin is 15 years old. Okay, so it's important to reread the word problem to make sure we're only giving them the answer they're looking for. Also, always important to have a well-defined let statement so we know x is Tracy's age and 2x plus 3 is Caitlin's age, and we're not guessing back to the beginning of the problem. Okay? And as always, if you find it helpful to create this simple equation before you put the expressions in terms of x in, do that, okay? and then solve the equation that you get. A father who is 32 years old has a daughter who is five years old. In how many years will the father be twice the daughter's age? Okay, so in this case, we know exactly how old the father and the daughter are. So we have to define our variable. So let x be equal to. Well, the only thing we don't know is how many years it's going to take for this to be true, for the father to be twice the daughter's age. So we'll let x be equal to the number of years. Okay, so we're looking for when the father is going to be twice the daughter's age. Okay, the father's 32 now, so in x years, he's going to be 32 plus x. Right, 32 plus the number of years that have passed. The daughter is 5, but in x years, she's going to be 5 plus x and we're doubling that age. Okay, so there's our equation, and now we can solve. So we'll distribute the two, so we have 32 plus x equals 10 plus 2x. We can subtract x on both sides. 32 equals 10 plus x. Subtract 10 on both sides. We get 22 equals x. Rereading the question, how many years will the father be twice the daughter's age? So, in 22 years. Okay, and we can check that. In 22 years, he would be 54 and she would be 27. So, that is true. Now, they could have also asked, how old would the father be? How old would the daughter be? Okay, but in this case, they just kept it simple. How many years until this is true? Our next example, Alex is three times as old as Sam. In six years, Sam will be one year older than half of Alex's age then. How old is Alex? So we'll start with our last statement. So let x be equal to. So it says Alex is three times as old as Sam. So Alex's age is defined in terms of Sam's age. So x is Sam's age. 
and then 3x is equal to Alex's age. So now in six years, Sam, so Sam's age in six years is going to be S plus six. It's, he's going to be one year older than half of Alex's age then. So that's half. Alex's age in six years is his age plus six now. And then one year older than that, so plus one. So now we can put our expressions in terms of x in. So x plus six equals one half times three x plus six plus one. And now we can solve them. So we'll start by distributing the one half. So x plus six equals three over two x plus three plus one. Combining like terms on the right hand side, x plus six equals three over two x plus four. We can then subtract x from both sides. We'll have six equals one half x plus four. Just showing, showing a little side work there, right? We have three over two x minus x. So we need a common denominator. So we'd have two over two. And that's what gives us the one half x. Next, we'll subtract four from both sides of our equation. So we have two equals one half x. And then we'll multiply both sides by two. And we have four equals x. Okay, so going back to the problem, asks how old is Alex? So Alex is represented by three x. So that means three times four is Alex's age. So Alex is 12 years old. Perfect. The sum of Jimmy and Jamie's age is 40. In 10 years, Jimmy will be twice as old as Jamie will be then. How old are both Jimmy and Jamie? So let's start with our let statement. So we're going to let x be equal to. Okay, so it just says the sum of Jimmy and Jamie's age is 40. So we'll pick one of them to define their age by x. So let's say x is Jimmy's age. So now if the sum of their age is 40, then the way we'll find Jamie's age is to subtract Jimmy's age from 40. So 40 minus x represents Jamie's age. And let's just put some numbers there to help you wrap your head around that. If Jimmy was, let's say, 15, the way we would find Jamie's age is to do 40 minus 15, and we would get 25. Okay, so right now we don't know how old Jimmy is. He's X years old. So then to find Jamie's age, it will be 40 minus X. So it says, in 10 years, Jimmy will be twice as old as Jamie will be then. Okay, so in 10 years... Jimmy's age plus 10, that's how old he'll be in 10 years. That's going to be twice as old as Jamie will be then. So twice as old as Jamie's age now plus 10. Okay, so now let's put our variables in. So Jimmy is represented by x. And then two times 40 minus x plus 10. Okay, so now let's simplify the parentheses. So x plus 10 is 2 times 50 minus x. We can distribute the 2. So x plus 10 equals 100 minus 2x. Now we can add 2x to both sides. we get 3x plus 10 equals 100. Then we can subtract 10 from both sides. We get 3x equals 90. And then multiply both sides by 1 third. 
and we have x equals 30. Okay, so rereading the problem. How old are both Jimmy and Jamie? So x equals 30. So Jimmy is 30 years old. And let's fix that. And Jamie is 40 minus 30, which is 10. Our last example, Lisa's age is twice Bob's age. If Lisa's age in three years is equal to three times Bob's age six years ago, how old is Lisa? So we'll start with our last statement. So let x be equal to. So Lisa's age is twice Bob's age. So Lisa's age is defined in terms of Bob's age. So x is Bob's age then. And then Lisa is twice Bob's age, so 2x equals Lisa's age. Okay, so Lisa's age in three years. So Lisa's age in three years, we add three to that, is equal to three times Bob's age six years ago. So Bob's age six years ago is his age now, minus six. Okay, so this one's a little bit different because we're adding years to Lisa's age, but we're subtracting years from Bob's age. But as long as we stay consistent with our setup, then we should have no issue solving. Okay, so simple equation. Now let's put our last statement in terms of x in for Lisa and Bob. So Lisa is 2x plus 3. And then we have 3 times x minus 6. So we'll start by distributing the 3 on the right-hand side. So 2x plus 3 equals 3x minus 18. We can subtract 2x from both sides. We get 3 equals x minus 18. Add 18 on both sides. And we get 21 equals x. Now it wants to know how old Lisa is. So if x is 21, Lisa's age is 2 times 21. So that's 42 years old. Okay, so just to recap with all our age problems, really the key is the setup. Okay, both in the let statement and in our equation. Once we get that equation set up, then we're just taking the steps to solve a linear equation, and we've been doing that for quite some time now. And as with all the examples, if you find this simple equation helpful, start there before you start putting x's in. Maybe that helps you see it a little bit more clear, and then you can substitute in the expressions with x and go about solving. Okay, so now it's your turn to practice, and make sure that you're confident with these types of word problems.